Hello YouTube, the Tech Dude 1230 here, and I'm here with a little walkthrough of how to get iOS 5 Beta 3. Um, so you guys are lucky today because I just finished the download for iOS 5 Beta 3, and I have not done anything since the download. I have installed iTunes 10.5 Beta 3, but that's it. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. First thing you want to do is you want to click the uh, iPod 4, I, or I'm doing the iPod 4, but yours will say iPhone 4, iPad 2, iPad 1, okay? So you want to right click it, let it load, and you want to go down to rename, and you want to rename the dot zip, you want to change that to IPSW, click enter, and just click yes. And then it should come up as a little, kind of looks like a Lego piece, but that's the IPSW fire, the, fir the firmware for iTunes. Next, you want to open up iTunes 10.5 Beta 3. Let it load up here. It takes a while because my computer does not like using iTunes at all. Um, and if you saw my other video, it showed how to download this. I'll put that video link in the description so you can go check that out and get all the downloads that you need. Um, and so yeah, just keep checking out my YouTube channel because there might be some other videos about how to get iOS 5, Beta 3, and all that kind of thing. Okay, so once this pops up, it'll have all your information here and everything. Um, so what you want to do is you want to connect your iPod to iTunes with the uh, USB port or the USB cable. And what you want to do is you want to go down to Restore. You want to shift and click Restore. Alright, and then you should see your firmware here. Let me zoom in on that. Right there, it'll say iPod or whatever you have. Um, so then what you want to do is you want to double click it. And it'll say iTunes will re or will erase and restore your iPod to iOS 5.0, uh, and will verify the restore with Apple. Click restore. All right, I'm gonna pause the video and let this do this, and I'll be back when it's almost done. All right, so now we got a. It's changing it here, and it says verify an iPod restore with Apple, and now it's changing. And there's this logo up here. Still says prepare an iPod for restore, and then the little restore bar has then popped up down here. And it'll say waiting for iPod onto iTunes. On iTunes. Just gonna make sure it works here. Still says waiting for iPod. Normally does not take this long. I don't know why it's taking this long this time. Hi, right, it says preparing iPod soft software for restore. Once it starts working down here, I will uh, pause the video and I will come back when it is done. All right, now it says restoring iPod software. Uh, that normally means it's working, and as you see down there, the little white bar says that it is working. So I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to come back when it's finished. Alright guys, it seems to be done here on the bar, and it says restoring iPod firmware up here, and it's done here. So it should be only seconds until the actual iPod is, being, is booting up after the restore. So if you just hang on tight here, we will see the boot up. Alright, here we go. It says that your iPod has been restored in factory settings and it's restarting. Please leave your iPod connected. It will appear in iTunes window after it restarts. Alright, so it is rebooting here. Right here. And I'm going to pause it. Actually, there, and then you'll come up with a little bar here, and it'll go. It goes pretty fast down with here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pause it, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna just film the iPod. All right. So I have finished the uh, restore, and here is iOS 5 beta 3, and I'm gonna show you through the process. So you're gonna set it up here. Um, English next. Scroll on down to the United States. 
Next. Um, let's go ahead and enable the location. That's a new one. I did not see that one last time. Um, here we go. Let me just type in my password here. All right. Click next. Use Wi-Fi. Next. And we're going to go ahead and set up as new iTouch. Next. Sign in with Apple ID. Next. It's going to go ahead and sign me in. And then the conditions. That's a new one too. I think that's for iCloud basically. Most of it. Just click agree down there. Terms and conditions, I've agreed that the iOS, PLA, and iCloud end user beta trial terms. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing that's if your iPod breaks and Apple is not responsible for the iOS. So just go ahead and click to agree. And then it may take a few moments to set up your Apple ID. So just go ahead and let that go. Alright, and then it'll come up with iCloud. Go ahead and click next. Uh, just go ahead and click next here. Find my iPod Touch next, and then send the iNote. Just let's turn that off, and then next, start using iTouch. All right, guys. So there you go. You are in. Um, I'm going to do a review of iOS 5 Beta 3 for you. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Any questions, please put them in your comment comments below. I will help with any errors. I've got many errors doing it with iOS Beta 2, so I know almost everything about this. So go ahead and put a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.